We'll be rolling out 17 public in-person events. Uh, there's an online engagement portal. There's a toolkit. Uh, we're really, really excited about all the work that's been done, and I think Calgarians will have multiple medians and opportunities to engage uh, from today until October 28th and through to the pleb site. This is a campaign of sorts on the yes and no side, and so we will see that. But we have to remember that the vast majority of Calgarians just want to have information so that they can make an, uh, an informed decision leading into this plebiscite. And I think that, that we've done an, a really good job of laying out balanced information in regards to the risks and rewards and does this does the potential of us hosting the Olympics in 2026 help or hinder us in reaching some of our, our, our goals that we have as a city? And uh, I think that's part of the conversation that we're looking forward to having with Calgarians. The financial uh, summary that was released today was very heavy on the, let's say, summary and very light on the financials. It doesn't really say a lot. Uh, as well as there's a little bit of revisionist history going on and that some of the new document was actually in response to some of the so-called media misunderstandings. So there was new material that actually wasn't before council uh, in the actual confidential attachment. Again, still pushing hard for the actual uh, due diligence to be released. I think it's good work that the city is doing to uh, actually comb through some of the BIDCO's numbers, but I'm just afraid that uh, Calgarians are still not going to get a, a true accounting of what the, the cost and the risks are, just the upsides.